are the Deputy Attorney General weighing in tonight, defending the Justice Department's handling of the Mueller report. Rod Rosenstein telling the Wall Street Journal he, meaning William Barr, is being as forthcoming as he can. And so this notion that he's trying to mislead people, I think, is just completely bizarre. Let's bring in the host of Left Coast News, Ethan Behrman, and former CIA analyst Buck Sexton. Great uh, to have both of you. Welcome tonight. Good to see you. Thanks, Shannon. All right, uh, Ethan, let's start there. He says it's bizarre that people are going after Barr so hard. You don't even have the Mueller report yet. He says it'll be in by next week. But there's someone from the Mueller team actually working together with them on redactions. Um, he pledged yesterday he's not going to withhold things that are damaging to the president. Um, should we have confidence in Barr? And if not, why not? Well, the biggest question really is if he had a three-week heads up to write his summary report, that is what we heard for those four pages, why wasn't he working on the redaction knowing that we were expecting this report? But if he didn't I have find the report that to be a little yet. bit suspicious. But, but no, the report that came out was why did he write that four-page summary so quickly? There was a report that came out that said he had a three-week heads up about the Mueller report and what it contained, which is why he was able to come out with that four-page summary so right, quickly. Right, but I'm not sure he had if the physical the... report. I think that he was given a briefing about what the findings were likely to be, but I'm not sure he had the report, which is the time-consuming part of all the redactions. Yeah, but it, it, it still, it, it seems suspicious that we are holding back, that the Republicans in the Senate, I'm looking at Mitch McConnell, the majority leader, would be holding back at all. We, we have full rights to this. The Republicans in the House actually voted for it over, I mean, unanimously to say we have the right to see this report. W what is taking so long? We all knew that this was the end of it. So this isn't a surprise that they need to go through this process. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, Buck, you know, by law, uh, by statute, there are things that the attorney general cannot turn over. He says he's trying to do it at lightning speed. He's working with Mueller folks to get it out. Democrats are flailing, Shannon, because the criticisms are leveling against this process just are unserious. I mean, they're fundamentally not things that you can take without laughing a little bit because Mueller is a part of the redaction process. We've been told that numerous times. So the Mueller team gets to weigh in on what is and is not going to be shown to the American people. Barr has said that there are four very specific criteria that will be color-coded in the report. So we know exactly why it is not in the report. There are reasons why people shouldn't see things. Sources and methods, which in the case of, for example, the FISA reports, uh, Democrats were saying, we need to respect that. We need to make sure we keep that sacred and, and secret. Whereas now, all of a sudden, we're for radical transparency, Julian Assange style on this stuff. And let me just say also, this, this debate over the last 24 hours about whether there has been spying that has gone on in the Trump campaign, that also just shows you the desperation from Democrats trying to find something to latch on to here. It is obviously spying what was done to the Trump campaign. I okay. worked for a spying organization. It was spying. If <laughs> oh. words have meaning, that is what it was. Okay, I want to play something that the director, former director of national intelligence, James Clapper, said when he was point blank asked last year about this idea, the words spying. Here was his explanation. Was the FBI spying on Trump's campaign? Uh, I, uh, no, he, they were not. They were spying on a, a term I don't particularly like, but on what the Russians were doing, trying to understand were the Russians infiltrating, trying to gain access, trying to gain leverage and influence. So which, why doesn't he which like is what they do? Okay, I want to quickly give you both a bite at this. Ethan, first to you. Not spying on Trump, but spying on the Russians and how they were interacting with that's Trump. What the, that's what the FISA courts are about. It's, it's actually humorous to listen to Buck's uh, fake outrage on that one. Because what here's do you the know about okay, FISA okay. courts, If you want, if you want to spy on Muslims, and you're you, worried you, you, about you, terrorists you, 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 coming you, you, into this country, no idea what we you're listen to about. the source you're, you're okay, guys, 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 because they're connected to an American, and that's exactly what was transpiring here with the Russians. So you can cleanly say your piece, 15 seconds to you, Ethan, 15 to you, Buck. And I mean it. I'll enforce yeah, it. Yeah, if we're if we're if we're after terrorists, we listen because of an overseas source. The Russians are an overseas source. If they're talking to an American citizen, that is what the FISA court determines and then issues the warrant. It's that simple. It's called surveillance, Buck. Okay, that was 15 seconds, Buck. He <laughs> nailed it. You Secret got surveillance turn. is also called spying, which I know because I worked for the CIA. And by the way, Carter Page is not a Russian. George Papadopoulos is not a Russian. These are American citizens whose rights were trampled on. A lot of people just talk to Russians, buddy. That's why we have a Fourth Amendment to stop people from being spied on by their government. This is, again, it's laughable, okay. but they've got protected. nothing left. Time they've is got up. Time left. is up. I'm a fan of all the amendments and of both of you. So thank you for coming on tonight. Thank you. See you again soon. Thanks, Shannon.